guys, it's Tasmanian Latte Library. Today I will be doing an unboxing of the January Owl Crate box. It's my first international book box I've ever received, so I'm pretty keen to see what's in it. Let's go! Oh, this is cute. Guide to unboxing if you give two hoots. Okay, now. Photograph and film your unboxing experience. Share, show off your treats to the Owl Crate community. Snuggle up, get cozy, and enjoy your new book. Hashtag Owl Crate. Pretty fancy, actually. I've, I've never seen that before. Even in the other like people who like bought this box, I've never seen them show that. So that's pretty cool. So the packaging, I'm pretty sure this is paper, and it makes me a little bit nervous. Maybe it's just because I work in an office environment. I'm like petrified of paper cuts. But it's very um like flexible. Enough to can like it's like what do you call that? What do you call that? So it's like I trust that my goods are not broken. To be completely honest with you, like when I first got this box, I'm like pretty small. I don't know why, but I feel like the boxes I received recently are so much smaller than I expected. But then I suppose this one has a bit of depth. Like, how can you fit so many items in this size box? I always thought they were like, like this big, not like this big. Anyway, um, L Crate January theme was magical artifacts. And this is a spoiler card, cool artwork. So first we have this little cute little box, and it actually has L Crate on it, which is pretty impressive. I've, I've never seen that before in an Aussie box, so pretty cool. Ooh. We have a bracelet, and it actually looks like good quality to be honest. Not that I expected like bad quality, but yeah. And this is, oh, it's an antler bracelet, and it's an amplifier, inspired by the Shadow and Bone trilogy, and made just for me by Team Alcrate. Pretty impressive that they actually made it. I think they did because it's actually really, like, it's really good. It doesn't feel like it's going to break, oh, and you can like resize it, and it seems really, really good. And then, <laughs> socks! I have never received socks in a book box. I've low key always wanted to because I have like no socks. But these are really cool. If you can't tell already, they are Harry Potter inspired and they also have the word Owl Crate on it. So, like, 100% for marketing. That's it. Like, it's a, it's a really good way to go about it because who remembers where they got their socks from or anything for that matter? Nummy! It has Potter socks, and they are also an Owl Crate exclusive. If you couldn't tell by their name on the socks, they smell like new socks. Oh, cool. What's this? Oh, this is a wall tapestry. Without stories, we wouldn't be human beings at all. Philip Pullman. I've never received a wall tapestry before. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but good quality. I like the artwork. Really nice. Very clear. Yeah, I thought like really good quality. This box is actually starting to impress me. I mean, yes, I mean, I had high expectations, but these are actually fulfilling it. This wall tapestry even has an owl crate made in China, machine washed separately. Like, how, how, how is that? That's really good for marketing. And it's also good because, like I said, like you, you just never know where you get things from. Well, I have found that in, in previous boxes that I've received. Sting Sword. Oh, this is the Hobbit inspired. It is a letter opener. Great packaging. Excellent, excellent packaging for a letter opener. Great packaging, I can't open it. I'll need scissors, but this is actually really cute. I don't have a letter opener. I've never owned one. I didn't even know that there were wooden ones. That wood is great for the environment. It is really cute. And it has like like elvish words written on it. Oh, this was made exclusively by Juniper and Ivy Designs. Fend off any ambushing spiders and embrace your inner hobbit by wielding your new sting wooden letter opener. Cute. I wonder if this like opens packages. Because I think I get more packages than, than letters. The famous Owl Crate exclusive pin. So I've read that they have like one, three pins. This one is inspired by the book in the box. And it's designed in collaboration with Alchemy Inc. Which I've actually heard of them and I do like that store. 
it says wolves were everywhere and it's super shiny like super shiny i feel like i'm slowly starting to unintentionally get a pin collection i don't even know how popular these were but i've got them in other boxes and i just happened to start having this collection so i'm like sweet then we have a luggage tag, which is also inspired by the book in this January box. Nice and silver, nice detailing. I wonder where they actually make these things. Like how, like how much of a unique item is this? Like there are so many bookish boxes that have like such similar things. But to have a freaking luggage tag, I don't know. I think it's really cool. And I feel like that's what separates international boxes from local boxes is that they just have like more unique items. But you know what, maybe in international boxes, they all have things like this. Soon find out. This is a zipper pouch. So like a pencil case or something. But I'm sure you could use it for a variety of things. This is inspired by V.E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic. Admittedly, I have not read anything by her. They like Her books are on my TBR. I would like to read her stuff, especially because she's going to Supernova later on this year. And like, I follow her on social media and I, I really like her vibe. I feel like she just has, she, you know what? She's authentic and I, I can really appreciate authentic authors. And of course it has like our crate on it. It's just, it's just like the like, smartest thing, honestly. Brand your items because yeah, that, that's just amazing. Next we have, Oh, it's like, it's like, it's a booklet of like the designers and stuff and the author and oh my God, there's, there's even a crossword. It's a freaking crossword puzzle. How cute is that? Interview with a designer, stellar bookish art. If you like the book of the month, they have recommendations of what else you should read. They have their photo challenge. Oh, maybe I should do that. And of course they have the February theme, which is whimsical beasts like this is pretty impressive i think it just shows like how much the company must be doing well and they're, they, they're really catering to so many different people i'm absolutely mind blown and of course as many of you probably already know um the book of the month is okay look this book fits perfectly in this in this box like it fully freaking fits isn't that amazing I mean, I don't know how people get it out without like cutting themselves, but uh... Oh, it's even got like, enjoy your adventure on the bottom. How crazy is that? That's actually like such a cool idea. Their branding is amazing. 10 out of 10 for branding. Whoever does their marketing and branding should get a pay rise, seriously. Oh uh, yes, we have an actual an actual theme card, even though it's also in the booklet. Whimsical Beasts. Every February box will contain an exclusive item designed by Four Seasons Fox. Even even the card, it's like such a good freaking quality. And it's got round edges, like you just you just see like normally like spring square edges. This one's got round. It's like they're so different. I mean I might sound crazy, but uh I've never seen a book box have that round edges on their cards and of course the book this is an exclusive cover I admire our crate for this they have exclusive covers the book is signed by the author and there's also like an author letter which is on like some vintage paper looking thing which is really cool and unique so obviously the Gilded Wolves by Rashani Chok Chokshi I don't know how to pronounce that sorry oh. but it's been signed like it's actually been like it's just, it's, just, it's just amazing. This is crazy. And my favorite thing about hard colors is actually taking this part off because I love seeing what's underneath. See, how, how beautiful is this? It's like high quality. The green is nice. I, I feel like this is like the only full green book I actually own, which is pretty good. Makes me want to read it. And the pages are like, um, Oh, I don't know if you can see, but they, they like, they're zigzagged. They're not just straight on, they're like zigzagged. Which makes me wonder if I'll get a paper cut. I'm like petrified of paper cuts. I don't know. It looks really cool and it feels really cool. Admittedly, the book sounds actually really good. I always get nervous about book boxes because sometimes they'll put in a book that like I have no interest in, which makes me really nervous. And 
I haven't really bought too many boxes that have like various fandoms in it because like I just I don't know them all and you know you have your favorites and I guess you just want you know your favorite ones so this was a risk but I have to say I was incredibly impressed for the cost of it you know I was had high expectations all the reviews have been like really good I don't have good things to say about it the quality is out of this world their branding is impressive like I love like I love branding and I love marketing and they've done so well my favorite item would have to be this bracelet because you know shadow and bone that's like my favorite series right now and I only have good things to say about this box I know lots of people have actually bought this box if you have please comment below and tell me your thoughts on it should I get another one is it worth it do you think you know it's the best box in the world I don't know Comment, like, subscribe, show some love, and I'll see you next time. Bye.